Diary of a Spaceport Janitor is a game that you can't play yet because it's in a private beta and I didn't realize that I had entered the beta until there was one day left so I didn't get to play it very much, but it looks pretty good. Instantly I love the aesthetic. It has everything I like. Low poly, low resolution graphics with vibrant colors, a highly creative setting with tons of weird alien guys. It feels kind of like where a Rick and Morty episode would take place. They even got a little bus going through. <laughs> Diaries of a Spaceport Janitor is about you, a janitor, in this spaceport. As a janitor, you must pick up bits of trash, and you can keep them or incinerate them. If you incinerate them, you get paid at the end of the day, but if you keep it, you can use them for whatever you want. You might find a guy who's looking for a specific kind of trash and sell it to him, or you might find a use for it yourself. During my first little outing, I got stuck. You're supposed to find a map and then buy an eye from this dealer here in order to go into the dungeon nearby. I don't think that's always something you have to do, but I had to do it because of my god that I chose. At the start, there are nine gods to choose from, and I chose Beb because it's Beb. Anyway, I walked around and bought something from one of the stalls, not realizing how much money I was wasting, and I couldn't afford to purchase the Eye of Beb in order to progress. So I reset, and everything is slightly different. The map that you find was in a different place in the spaceport, all the shopkeepers were different random alien species, and I realized this was a roguelike, I think. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I got the Eye of Beb, I went into the dungeon, expecting some sort of combat tutorial maybe, and... The sound design is impressive. Everything is very odd, but grounded. It sounds like an alien spaceport should. Music is similarly neato, and I would uh, thumbs up that music. But more importantly, it's a skull. Oh, he's following me. Don't wear in my ear! It's so cute! Apparently it's the skull curse, and I gotta collect pieces of the skull thingy to free myself from the curse, according to this NPC outside. But from what I can see, all it does is go wham occasionally, which is hilarious, and he's my best friend. So you go around with your skull curse, picking up more trash and talking to people, and you realize it's getting dark. The day-night cycle in this game is pretty fast, and it looks beautiful how everything changes color. One thing about the graphics, by the way, I gotta mention are the flashing monitors everywhere. I can't be certain how they made them look like that, but it looks awfully like when you got two identically shaped 3D models at the exact same coordinates. When this happens, the computer struggles to decide which of the two models is on top, and therefore visible to the camera. So it just tries its best to show both at once. If this is how they animated all these monitors, then it's genius! Because they just need to copy-paste the model, give it a different color, put it in the same place, and it looks interesting and animated, and they didn't even have to do that much work. It's great! They turned what's normally seen as a glitch into a deliberate part of the aesthetic. Anyway, it gets dark and you go home, and you put things in your storage chamber, and you go to sleep to recharge your incinerator, and then write in your diary. Now the diary is neat because it's up to you to keep track of what you did, and what you're trying to do. There's not really any forced goal from what I see, you just pick up enough trash to live every day, and that's it. 
But if you want to go hunting for those curse thingies, you can write little notes in so you can remember what you're doing. Of course, you can write nothing. It's, it's entirely up to you what you'd put in your little diary, and that's quite cool. And that's it. That's all I did. But I did enough to know that I probably want this game when it comes out. Or at least I want to play it again. With a beta. With a beta beta. It's pretty complicated, probably very deep, and certainly beautiful. If it ever has another beta, I would suggest signing up. Also, use a controller instead of the mouse and keyboard. It feels more designed for that. <laughs>